um, to lane against it, and uh, things like Spear against uh, Zerazer are definitely excellent. Even if you don't Spear to a tree, you still break his uh, Static Link range in some cases, so that can be good. Begins. But I, I am excited to see the uh, the much talked about Nyx Assassin. Um, Darks here in this game will be kind of fun too. Decent against Chaos Knight, certainly. Um, and other than that, um, Nyx, yeah, just will Nyx do well. Um, Death Prophet being shifted to five is gonna make it a little bit weaker, but it's always been very good at catching Ember Spirit. Um, it's gonna be quite good against Weaver as well, which is the four position. So maybe not the best Nyx game, but maybe he'll make good stuff happen. And wildcard gaming coming into this series. Uh, I want to say they're one and two, while TSM FTX are undefeated, much like Quincy Crew and EG. Of course, they have yet to face each other. That's kind of how it's worked for a millennia, it feels like, in NA. All about those top three and who will be the top two in the end. Yeah, last season was pretty fun for that because uh, EG did lose their series to Wild or to Black and Yellow, and then Wildcard Gaming last yeah. last season. Um, Wildcard Gaming has definitely had a rougher start this time. Their first two series looked pretty um, mediocre or weak from them, but their previous series against Four Zoomers they looked a lot better. So hopefully they bring that good energy into this match here because they do they are, do have very good players. Um, certainly is a possibility that they could be TSM FTX, but TSM's also been very clean this entire season. So that aspect uh, makes them certainly the, the upper hand likely to win. Yeah, and I think, uh, I mean, obviously they won the, I guess you could call it, they won the NA DPC last season uh, after the regional finals. And I don't think this is a team that's going to rest on their laurels, so to speak. They're not gonna hold back at all. I think if anything, they're gonna be hungrier because I'm sure they're disappointed that obviously that wasn't a major technically yeah. that they won or they even went to in that case. And obviously sporting the new org, TSM, historic franchise, a lot to live up to. And so far they have delivered in every facet of the game thus far. Except for the Dubai land. Every facet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> every DPC facet. That's fine. They picked up. In NA, they have delivered. <laughs> That's very true. Of course. Last season, we should mention, obviously, EG was not, they did not look good. You can just say that outright. Mm -hmm. They were very up and down. They had MSS. I mean, when MSS filled in, they actually looked pretty good. They did, yeah. Uh, but Nightfall was playing from overseas for the most part, so... EG is definitely kind of a different beast now. It will be a very interesting matchup, nonetheless, uh, when that time comes. It's been kind of cool seeing uh, Moon Meander trade hits with Sammy so far. They're basically just one on one but... Um, having Iron Shell on him actually does help offset a lot of the lane advantage that um, Death Prophet normally would just destroy with. Because Nyx has pretty low base damage. Um, his movement speed's okay, his regen's okay, but his overall like trading stuff usually is a lot worse than a typical 5 hero, which are usually valued for that. Death Prophet, very valued for that, uh, but having Iron Shell really offsets it a bit here. As you see, Moon Mana getting chased a bit by the Spirit Siphon. Oh, oh going for the Courier, but okay. the Impale's gonna be there. That was close. Almost mistake Man, there. He is actually very quick. <laughs> nice yeah. body block from Lumiana though. But nothing else will come of that. As mid lane, we can see Bryle taking pretty heavy damage from S, but not really uh, posturing for a kill at the moment. Two levels in that Dragon's Blood, so it'll be pretty difficult to take down. Yeah, that'll help a lot actually, because Sight of Fist just does so much damage right now against enemy heroes. It doesn't. Um, got a little bit of a buff there. It's better against creeps as well, so. Yeah, that extra armor will keep Ryle a little bit more tanky. He won a fast gloves of haste as well, so this is one way to outlast your opponent. He's already got a slight base damage advantage, but this is why a lot of pro players opt for gloves of haste first, because you're gonna get more denies and more hits, because you can mix them in together with higher attack speed. Uh, dive top is looking okay at the moment. And yeah, they have a full creep wave there with them as well. They already cut uh, the previous wave, so getting pretty good farm is Saber Light. Of course, Eve can last hit pretty easily under the tower. And Sammy Boy, with that percentage based damage and heal, can just sustain most of it. Only downside is Saberlight's mana is quite low right now, so Iron Shell is not really that feasible at the moment. But the double null build is great for this to give Darkseer a mix of benefits. Divide Lama on the bot lane, though. Yep, another right click might do it. Can Dubu get the vision? There's the Tango. Another right click after the fact. Absolutely, first blood goes the way of Dubu. And that's a good hero to get a first blood on, no doubt. Yeah, it is. Uh, this is, it feels so good. You get um, either a fast boots, or in this case, he's finishing wand. He gets a raindrop and a wind lace, which it's going to put him basically at boot speed while, and having the raindrop this early too means him dying to Mars is so much lower and also extra mana regen to spam out his skills. Um, he did place a ward to get that kill, but it's a perfect ward placement. He got solar bind as well. 
which is going to help them with the Razor. That way, if they do go for a kill, that overwhelming chase advantage the Solar Bind gives them will mean a ton of damage. So this is tough for Divai Lama without his support here. Fred's picked up by CK now. Sammy Boy continue to get chased by the Ion Shell Moon Meander, but here comes Eve. He gets off the Chaos Bolt with the Reality Rift, gets the crit again. And Moon Meander very happy with that death of his. <laughs> That's an interesting reaction. I don't miss it. What do you do? <laughs> he was just smiling. He was, he was like looking at the mirror of, uh, or looking at the webcam of Wildcard instead. Mm. He was just laughing. But that, that's the thing I love about Moomiander now, because I, I can't speak for exactly how he was, but I heard stories like back in the day, maybe a little bit toxic as a teammate. Mm -hmm. But in the last couple of years, he's really turned the corner and been a very positive in nature. It's Moomiander going to show himself here onto Esk, but. Looks like S is going to be just fine. In fact, gets some rotation here from Alex. There's a Searing Chains onto two. Ryle likely will be fine, though. Continue to get those right clicks off onto S. You can see the Dragon Tail actually connecting oh. with the Illuminate. And Dubu gets the second kill of the game for himself. That was cool. Dubu approaches, lowers the cooldown for Ryle, gets him that follow up disable. But he was pretty covered, anyways. I mean, he's got three points in Dragon Blood. This feels like a really good game to have a DK in the mid lane because the uh, the rotating support is Weaver with minus armor, Chaos Knight does minus armor, Mars does physical damage. Like, it's a really good game to be overly tanky on your core, especially when you're in the mid lane like this and you get pressured. Side lane, whatever, people just don't gank him, but him being mid and having an okay survivability matchup against Ember Spirit, it just feels solid. Sammy boy, my goodness. There's the Surge as well. <laughs> He's gonna have to try to, yeah, they're finally gonna take out the Illusion, but that was heavy, heavy damage. You see Saberlight, in terms of net worth, top two at the moment. And still over everybody on the opposing team. So having himself a great lane right now. And Dubu rotates towards the top lane too. Tomato's lane is really one. I mean, he's level six here versus the level four on Mars. So it should be safe for him to play here solo. So Dubu rotating top now solves Saberlight's mana problems with Charcoal Magic here. And More mana is for him. Forced to go jungle for now. We'll see if this tier one tower ends up getting pushed. I mean, the creeps are doing a good amount of damage to start things out. See the support duo for TSM in Wildcard's jungle, and Eve playing it a bit safe. Yep, faked out the stun. There's the reality rift after the spike. Carapace has already dissipated. Nicely done from Wildcard. Pick off a second kill on the Moonbeam. Yeah, there's the vacuum, though. The Saberlight and company will find another one, but it will cost them. So two for one. Wildcard getting the better of that exchange. Great fight for Eves. Uh, walks forward. He got a cup. He got like two crits around. Nyx is just a little lucky. It's a 33% chance. But uh, huge overall. I mean, damage all about the uh, spike carapace outplay there. That makes a big difference. Sammy Boy looking a little dead here. Quite dead indeed. I mean, she is undead, I believe. Or is she a corpse or is she I undead? I am not a lore a man. You have, you have the wrong person. Did can you it, take me for a lore man? Can somebody tweet at Slax and ask him what Death Prophet is exactly? And then ask Slax to DM us immediately afterwards. Thank you. <laughs> is, <laughs> Make it, sure is she a that. ghoul? Like, is there a difference between undead and ghoul? Is Divai Lama almost taken out of the plasma field? But the spear will save him and Tomato back into the jungle he goes. As Alex is actually getting chased by an iron shell from Saberlight, but doesn't look like he's going to end up resulting in a kill here. Used his wall to try to find that. But still, his farm is kind of out of control right now. Illuminate connects onto two. Eve trying to take out Moon Meander again. Still has, oh my oh, god, the oh. vacuum actually screws up that combo a bit. And you can see the swarm was still attached on that entire time. Ends up dropping, but at least they get the Weaver, so one for one. A little tough for Weaver, or for the Nyx here. He's very vulnerable to all this minus armor. He's like the one guy in the map that's struggling with it. Um, Razor getting pressured here. This is the slight. Uh, Tomato has spent a decent amount of time jungling. Like, he did win the lane against Divai Lama, but staying in the lane was probably too scary because literally any hero rotation, especially a core, means he gets picked off. Instead, he opts to uh, get four points of Plasma Field, rushes straight into Falcon Blade, and he's going to spend a lot of time jungling here, which is one way to utilize this without buying regen items. Uh, Sammy Boy. Mine's Moon Meander. There's the first arena of the game, and Moon Meander is going to take a tumble. But the RTP is coming in. I don't know. The big ultimate is down. Here comes the Plasma Kill connecting onto two. Saber Life's in the area as well. Static. Um, the Static Link didn't last that long, but they still find the kill onto Sammy Boy nonetheless. As Eve, very low on HP. No ult to work with. Vacuum is there, and down he goes. So a two for nothing, really. As you can see, Bryle. Gonna get that tower in the top lane as 
or in the mid lane, I should say, as well, while all this is happening. So it feels like, despite the good start from Wildcard, TSM is getting every trade that they want. Yeah, they really are. That's a huge gold advantage so far. Tomato did great. That surge and rotation from Saberlight was perfect. He's almost got an Orchid already on Darkseer. Don't really see this guy attacking too fast. Terrible agility gain, but hey, uh, Orchid into like normal punch later is actually gonna be really good against heroes like CK. So, yeah, illusions of CK ain't too shabby. Radiance Tower is under attack. I mean, what do you think of normal punch as as a shard in general? I used to not like it very much, but it's pretty popular right now. I've seen a lot of Dark Sears buy it because I mean, if you get like a blink, I saw, even saw somebody. I don't remember what player or team it was, but they went like something like double null into blink dagger with shard. They'd blink and punch a guy. You know, it's a pretty good amount of damage and it gives them a, a gank opportunity. I think that's where it becomes really valuable. In this case, they, they want the Orchid more because once you buy Orchid, you just easily kill Weaver every time you catch him. Um, so something like Orchid into Blink or Orchid Normal Punch, like he should be able to kill Weaver. Yeah, I mean, Weaver obviously is to support Weaver, so he's not gonna be able to itemize towards that necessarily. And good against Ember as well, actually. Yeah, Ember, I mean, you go, I, it's probably too late to go for a Yules, but I assume a BKB is gonna have to be purchased uh, at that point. Yeah, almost for sure. And but, obviously CK the same. But outside of Orchid, uh, it's it's a good disable in most other circumstances because you're getting up to a 2.25 second stun, which Radiant is pretty solid. So not bad. Attack. Does max 300 damage. That's pretty insane. And it gives you an illusion that does like 90% damage, which at many stages of the game is pretty close to full, depending on what items you're buying. So Nyx is looking to set up bottom with his level six here. And he catch the Vailama. Yep, there's the Orchid reveal. Vacuum to follow. Impale, breathe fire. Goodbye, Mr. Divai Lama. It looks like the Weaver's going to be next. Double kill for Saberlight, and TSM are starting to run away with this thing. They are. They just absolutely collapsed on that safe lane there. Uh, Moonmander took him a while to get six, but now that he's got it, he's looking a lot stronger. Um, and he, the, the Saberlight's doing things like putting an Iron Shell on Moon. Moon stands in a creep wave. Very happy to give. Saber light, like an extra wave of experience. Link Dragon Tail into Orchid. the Orchid, and this is going to likely be yet another kill going wow. the way of TSM. And that is an extremely value one as well onto Esk. Man, just Saber light getting so much done. Five kills now, 100 last hits on him. He got another creep wave bottom with Moon Meander, having holding that Iron Shell, and the rotations continue. Moving back and forth, and he doesn't have to slow down because they also have a Coddle. As you see, Dragon Tail again with the Iron Shield. going to force out a TP. There's the Mars Arena looking for the Spear, but he gets Orchided. Can't do anything about oh, it. Good sound. There's a Spirit Siphon and the Exorcism from Sammy Boy. But again, it's just a position 5 Death Prophet. Exorcism is doing a decent amount of damage. Here comes the Ember Spirit to follow, but you can see the Surge applied to Brile. Looks like he's going to be just fine. Moon Meander. Looks like they have some vision of him here. There's the sentry as well. So they will at least get something, but that is a lot of rotations and an ultimate used. Mm -hmm. A couple ultimates, in fact, just to find a support. Yeah. It was a good attempt to escape. If he was able to go invis without vision, the bugs die instantly, and you will be safe. But they already have sentry down, so they get that kill. But they're just doing a great job pressuring. Saberlight's uh, Orchid so far has been really valuable. He's got a Blink Dagger queued up, which makes perfect sense. Now, uh, Iron Shell and Dragonite, this combo is great too. Uh, like, the, the Darkseer really brought their squad together in a strong way. Not only is he going to get Orchid at a good timing, mean, he makes the lane better for Nyx. That, like, further makes him stronger too. Now, Iron Shell on the Dragonite, who's going to blink in, giving him more damage. Everything just makes a lot of sense on their squad right now. Pretty fun to watch. See that they're smoked up now, so looking for... Oh, they actually get baited by the Illusion. First good thing that happened to Wildcard in the past, I feel like... 10 minutes, just been all TSM this game. Despite the score being 10 to 6, which looks close, mm -hmm. this is not remotely close right now. A 4K lead at 14 minutes is ginormous. Yeah, all their lanes went really good in terms of last hitting. Um, Eves has still done a great job getting net worth. He's 2 1 and 3 as well. Oh, you saw the Orchid bot. Not going to be enough for the kill, though. A lot of damage done to Esk in the meantime. No, there's the Mars Arena. He's going to miss the spear, though. Dragon Tail to follow. Trying to run away is Brile, but he's brought back in with the Reality Rift and a huge kill for Wildcard. They're going to need a couple more of those to get back into this game. Yeah, that helps. They had tried to kill Ember in the bot lane at the same time. They used Orchid on him with, uh, looks like, Nyx Assassin. Nyx is spotted by the sentries. We'll see if they try to make a play. Yeah, Saberlight moved over to Orchid if needed, but... That one's going to be too hard. 
HP. A little pickoffs here and there will definitely make a big difference. Um, Spirit Vessel will help as well. Um, Alex is still pretty far away, about a thousand gold. Uh, and the issue is that Tomato's also got BKB flying out too, so... Or I assume, yep, it's just started. Very good timing for the BKB. Um, this is pretty standard itemization to be safe, and this is what he needs when he's got to play against Mars, against CK, even against Ember. This is going to allow him to just jump in the fight and target one hero, kill them right away, whether it's Mars, DP, or the, uh, the CK. And TSM, oh, a BKB already picked up by Tomato, and I think that's going to be even more go time for them as they try yep. to extend this lead. And he actually breaks the smoke himself to show himself mid, but the rest of the squad will be traversing towards the top lane. Yep. In some ways, it's a good thing, good th way to do this. He's got BKB finished, so it seems like, oh, that's the guy that they would bring to the fight. But now it allows them to cross the map a bit. But they need, yep, that works. They're gonna find Alex, just a support kill, but maybe they'll transition this into the tower top as well. Yep, wildcard gaming's drawing on the map. They want to go defend. Tomato pressuring out mid a little bit in the meantime. He, he wants to do this because he doesn't want them to be able to pressure mid tower for free while they slowly siege a tier two. If he leaves right away, then CK commits his ulti to this in 15, and that tower pressure is more important right now when they're losing. Up, Dubu gets caught out. Spear will not connect again for Divai Lama. Silence to follow though, but no follow up damage. So Dubu just TPs. Oh, oh. Searing Chase cancels though. He'll walk away on his horse. Ryle pops that dragon for him for good measure. So not able to get the caught, obviously not the longest ult cooldown in the arena, but Vi's having some issues with uh, the spear this game. It's a hard catch, I mean. Oh, Tomato, okay, they forced out the BKB. That's that's pretty big for wildcard. And perhaps once that Mars arena is back up, actually it's gonna align with the BKB timing anyway. Let's go. It's a nice, uh, a nice voice line, I have to say. You like that one? Yeah. I keep thinking I'm getting production in my ear time. <laughs> there's smoke gank. I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> I can see on the screen. Oh, there's the Orchid. You can see the shard picked up by Brile. So what looked like a potential good initiation for Wildcard Gaming, not going to happen. That's basically all of TSM waiting. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of damage. Four points of Iron Shell plus uh, 80 damage per second from Fireball. It's like almost 200 DPS. Easy ways to get kills at this stage of the game. And now he just needs to get the BKB. If we think about the Dragonite from two games ago, I, th I think the, the major difference, I mean, winning the lanes helps, but he's had damage follow-up from Caudal, and also having Iron Shell really makes a big difference too. Yep, true. When we under set up so good top though, great yep. vision. Wildcard has no idea, no sentries in the vicinity. There's the Vendetta into the Impale, into Tomato getting a freebie for himself. How do you feel about that static link there? Uh, it felt good to get three damage. It does help. Oh, boy. man. Orchid back into the wall. Is this enough damage to take out S? No, he gets a slide of fist and the remnants, but it doesn't look like Alex is going to be so lucky. Middle tower is under attack. So, despite not getting the value kill, TSM still getting something. Brian will pop that dragon form to farm a little bit better. They're just getting so much on the map. Um, Eves, again, continues to be the most farmed hero. He's been doing this consistently in most of the games we watch, even when Wildcard Gaming is losing. But now they're going to sit behind Ask, anticipating this ganking, and that's what's so dangerous about it, is that it's not high resource here with Orchid. He's just basically ready to go all the time. And let's see if they go for it. They do have a ward. Yeah, they're not going to pressure him right now. Back to farm, Dubu sprints to the bot lane to push that one out successfully. Should have another TP scroll coming, but TP in 45. This isn't a good time for uh, TSM to fight necessarily. Brile, still in dragon form. Gets off the dragon tail before the spear comes out, and there's the Orchid to prevent the follow-up, at least for now. It looks like Brile's gonna be just fine, so another blunder here for Wildcard Gaming. Not able to get like a, any clean initiations this game, it feels like. Yeah, well, maybe a little bit too greedy from him. He was about to throw up, but yeah, good reaction there with the stun. And he also happened to have Dragonite ulti up, which helps, because then he's got longer range. But they'll retreat from that one, back to the drawing board. Alex gets a little pressured mid lane, pops time-lapse out of safety reasons. 
And Razor actually going to pivot from Ring of Health. He's going to go for an AC instead of Refresh Orb, which I think makes a lot of sense, actually. There's so much physical damage coming from Wildcard Gaming that it's a better plan for him just to get survivable than it is for him to have, like, double BKB, double ulti. Because if he's only got, like, 10 armor and Chaos Knight's cutting through it, who cares? Like, what's the benefit of having double ulti? Yep, true. So I, th I think this is a smart pivot by Tomato that most players wouldn't make. Why? Shh, why? It's quiet. Last time he was smoking. He was smoking last time. He's <laughs> he's getting in their mind right now. <laughs> Trying to get those OG upper hands. What percentage of players do you think mute before the game starts? At least 50%. I you think half players just mute the enemy team. Yeah, you don't want to like. I mean, everybody, you know, everyone likes to joke that oh, whatever words of leaner don't hurt. They do. And uh, you don't want it to affect your performance, like right. especially if you're vulnerable to it. But do you think mo half players recognize that they're? I feel like no. more than half would feel Maybe. like they could withstand it, no problem. The ego takes over, you know. Oh, well, some of them maybe, yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Are you one of those ego players? Uh, it doesn't affect me, so I guess. <laughs> I literally don't care about poison way, lines at all. Way less cool than it was supposed to. <laughs> I think it's because I'm dead inside more than anything. Okay, it's not okay. ego, it's just apathy. <laughs> yeah, General that, that apathy. Makes, that makes a lot more sense for sure. <laughs> By Lama initiated on the Esk is in the area. Saber Light gets off the vacuum, the Orchid as well, and the normal punch. Divide Lama, goodbye. That's cool. Pulls him towards him and then punches him in the kidney all the way back. Yeah, beautiful stuff. How much does that go for on the black market these days, Purge? Ooh, a Mars kidney? That's a god kidney, dude. <laughs> That's that, right. That's very eat you. fine. You'll never need dialysis with that baby. <laughs> Alex, normal punched and brought down. TSM extending their lead is Tomato. Doesn't feel comfortable to push alone, understandably. Have you ever seen a Dark Seer so good at ganking in your whole life? That's no, great. It's been like 20 years since I saw a Dark Seer gank. He's just been doing it all game. Yep. I mean, I, the reason I brought up the shard is because it's one of the more interesting designs, and at first it felt like a complete meme. Mm -hmm. But it actually is really cool. And it's not like one of those things you get every game either, so it's quite balanced. Very you're, you're still talking about normal punch, right? Yeah, normal punch. I, I, I do feel like I see it at least 50% of games. Like, it's actually pretty common. Because, I mean, that's classically, here, here's that gank again. He punches oh, him. Yeah. What does that say, actually? Uh, Can you read that? Yeah, let me, let me just, one second. Let me just Get learn, out your Google Translate, learn, like, two please. languages to understand which one that is. <laughs> and then I will, I'm going to assume... I have no idea. Is it a language? That's really the question. You're right. Oh. It might just like, be a lie. Looks like Sammy Boy's dead. And TSM has uh, great control over the map. They don't really have a very good Roshan team. Or otherwise, I think they would have taken that already. Uh, perhaps yeah. waiting for this tier two before going down that. That's road. a really good point. That's definitely one thing that we can. But here they go again. Yep. Normal punch into the kidney, as you said, into the orchid, and no way to dispel that because of the lack of the KB right now. Pushes them back into the fire as well. So painful. They have a lot of mobile. Uh, what's the right word? Repositioning. Repositioning tool. spells. Yeah. They're only missing hook, really. I mean, we really need Pudge in this game. Right, maybe not this one. Then TSM would not be winning. All right, and Razor was like, I'm winning so badly that I'm just going to finish my refresher. <laughs> After that whole speech. Yeah. But how good of an idea that Assault is. But there's the Orchid again, Moon Meander. I mean, while CK is worrisome, he doesn't get Reality Rift Pierce to spell me until 20. And he's on a much better time. Like, once he gets refresher and a plate mail, he's good. He's, he's completely set. So it will be fine. Radiance so the Tier 2 Tower still stands for now. Barely pressured. But I believe once it is down, they will finally go for that coveted first Roshan. Saberlight's going to connect with the rest of his smoke team here. Riles Radiant ult already down, but that's Ooh, not really going to dissuade him. Skin. Now, Tomato, all right, he gets pinned. Can they bring him down before the BKB comes out? Reality Rift with that ult. Phantasm is more than enough. A huge kill for Wildcard, but it will again be a trade. Sunspan, why didn't he buy a play mail? He would have lived, maybe. My overconfidence. I guess so. They do get the kill on the Ember in the meantime. Not terrible. Ork is catching them and punching. Yeah, that's good. Punch again, and it's just too much for a support to handle when you just can't dispel. It's like a, it's like a cool reality rift. It's like he, he he blinks close, 
enough, like 400 units, Orchids him, vacuums him in, into himself. So it's like he's got blink range plus vacuum range. It's actually really cool. That's true. And then he gets the follow-up punch stun after the vacuum. It also costs 4,000 gold instead of what you consider to be reality rift. Okay, yeah, but but it stuns. He's basically getting like two long disables. It's definitely it's good. really good We're for game. the wall. Vacuum Orchid punch. He's basically CK ulti. And CK not going to get out of this one. Sammy Boy tried to save him. Spirit Vessel's applied. And it looks like he's just going to tick out. Down he goes. A TP coming in is going to be canceled, not surprisingly. And okay, they're going to find yet another potential kill. They have the sentry in place. Alex still in the area. Looks like he gets out of range for now, though. And Shikuchi Ooh. will be enough. Did they see him on the creep? If they did, huh? <laughs> well, he's buying some space. This is a. Uh... Yeah, they probably really want. Is he gonna run out of mana or something? Like. All right, it was and he puts down a ward. Very value here. And for he cuts the creep wave. Saberlight yeah. wants him though. If he gets the orchid, okay. Oh. He doesn't oh. have vacuum though. Needs oh. a punch. No, it's not happening. Alex is too fast. This is where you need to high five and tip. Dyer, While you're down 10k. True. Maybe it doesn't look that great. For the record, Saberlight is completely freaking owning, though. Like, he is legitimately owning. I, I like that as well. He scanned top to see if he was still being hunted to gamble whether or not he goes for that creep wave. If he dies there, it's going to feel real bad. But yeah, Saberlight just... This is a master tier Darkseer. This guy knows how to play this hero, and he is pressuring the freaking map. Not just farming creep waves and buying teamfight items. He's like, I'm ganking. And it's really owned this game. Has been oh, <laughs> There, we're finally going to see the Orchid into the normal punch on that pesky Weaver. He gets the Courier kill. But I want to play Darks here so bad right now. What about you? It does look fun. This is the most fun it's ever looked in my whole life. It is a very cool build. And he's working on a BKB now. Ask inside the pit. Expecting TSM to perhaps come into the area. Oh, he's going to be caught out first, though. But there's the counter from Divide Lama. Gets a nice Mars Arena with BKB. Popped by Bryle. This will likely not end well for Wildcard Gaming. They do get the Darkseer, though. A pretty big kill at this stage of the game. But again, it's seeming like it's going to cost them their entire team, potentially. As Tomato has the BKB with that ult going. And Eve is just getting shredded. Trying to get to the high ground. Reality Rift's not going to be enough. And Sammy Boy did buy back into this fight. But he's not going to live much longer. And Alex gets off the swarm. That's a triple kill for Tomato. See the spike carapace actually being enough to hold him in place. And eventually he's going to... Oh, he actually gets a little bit of space. All right, he actually burns down to the fireball. Nicely done. We're going to get the outpost and maybe Roche. And I got to stay in a winning position. Dragon Knight looks really strong. He's almost got an axe finish with his BKB. He'll watch that fight once again. Basically, the moment he sees Ask, he orchids him, gets the punch off. Roche is fighting. Great disables <laughs> on Darkseer, which is going to produce his death with the nice silence follow up. So that was a really good thing going for them on the TSM side. But in the meantime, Bryle's level 18, so he's got the big ice dragon. He's slowing these guys. It's affecting Eves. He's got Cleave, so he can kill the CK illusions. And he's just over leveled, so his hero just looks effective here. Eves gets run down. He also had the Gropo, too. So lowering magic resistance oh, helps to make his damage higher. Gives him a little attack speed, more attack range. Dubu, the, the classic Dubu, I'm winning smile. <laughs> he's got quite a nice smile. No I mean, doubt about he's, it. He's 3 0 16 right now. Dubu's playing excellent. And TSM as a whole has looked excellent ever since. I mean, undi the, the squad undying was always, always very good, but they wouldn't, they were never better than second or third place. Uh, during that time, but ever since TSM FTX picked them up, they've been going ham. As Tomato gets the BKB off in time, getting surrounded by the Phantasm Illusions. He's just going to TP out, though. That's a little bit of revisionist history, though, because they, they kept almost qualifying for majors, but they kept barely missing it. It was really close. Well, they didn't miss that stun because it's a single target stun by Dragon Knight Purge. As it looks like Saberlight, oh, almost brought down, gets the vacuum and the wall. He's still alive somehow, and Bryle just continues to have a rampage here. Not literally the definition of a rampage in the dictionary, Purge, in case you're wondering. I was. As uh, Death Prophet's going to go down, so three for one in favor of TSM again. And it looks like it's good. they're not done quite yet. And this is a juicy looking dragon. That's the Aghanim Scepter. And we'll see if they push or go for Roche or both. I mean, this man's slowing by 60% movement and attack speed with this, with X. Like, Dragon Knight looks so terrifying when he's ahead of you in net worth. 
Like, what do you do? You can't go on him. He's got 12 bonus armor. He's got 3k HP. And he's got extra magic resistance. And he had BKB. Like, he's going DPS items. This is like classic Dragon Knight carry from like six years ago. But that's what happens when you're winning. Yeah, but you brought it up. The fact that they have damage to actually get kills early on uh, with his initiation mm -hmm. is one of the reasons that they're able to snowball. Of course, they won every lane as well. That helps. Oh, he won Breathe Fire damage reduction too. It was a good game for it. Very good against CK like you talked about earlier. Most people don't get that talent. He also won Dragon Tail Stun. He also won Elder Dragon form attack range. He's not about tanking. He's like utility DPS this game. It's, it's fun to watch. Trying to hunt Alex again. Very, very annoying Weaver. As the AC is now picked up as Bryl. There's the Dragon Tail and yeah, goodbye. <laughs> Punched the into another realm entirely. Yeah. He was being pretty obnoxious, uh, so they're pretty happy to get that kill pickup this time. Oh. Okay, B pop by Tomato. It's the static link off onto Divai Llama, who popped the BKB. That's not really going to stop him from doing damage to him. Ooh, Let's get some distance thanks to the spear. But here comes the big black dragon again, Mr. Bryle himself. They're going to focus on poor old Sammy boy as Esk has the BKB TP. See if they find any additional kills in the trees is Divai Lama. Are scanning. Doesn't Ooh, have a TP at all, yeah, and they scan him, so they know he's in the area. As CK trying to farm up with his illusions. Yeah, Moon's being annoying here. Forces Eves to ulti. Ryle's just walking on cliffs, killing stuff, and they're gonna do Roche. This a 31, is... I mean, this just shows how bad their team is for Roche. It's yeah, 31 it's minutes and they're up by this much. I mean, Razor's not a good hero for Roche ever. Uh, I, does his ult even work on him? I don't remember. If it does, it's not the worst. But other than that, your, your raw damage is not great unless you're stealing damage. And DK is not a damage monster either, so. It will be fine though here. They do finish it off. Aegis will go to Tomato, that makes sense. He's more likely to die than the Dragon Knight is. And Dubu's still pushing out the top lane. He's quite farmed too, approaching Mars net worth. Their map control is excellent. They're put, split pushing side lanes constantly. Nick's in a good position to get a setup here. His ultimate's almost off cooldown, or off duration, that is. Let's see if he gets spotted or if he repops. It's going to repop to be safe, probably. Into the trees. Radiant Looks like they'll be fine. Has been killed. It's always really annoying to play against a Nyx Assassin, whether you're up or down. Mm -hmm. As an Ember Spirit, you can't pop Flame Guard, basically, at all. You can't get your Shard, because <laughs> the Remnants do damage over time, so you just get stunned by Spike Carapace pretty much any time he wants. Is getting the Orchid again, Vacuum, just to prevent that time lapse. Nice little kill there for Oops. TSM again. Moon accidentally almost GG. <laughs> Did he? <laughs> he put the, the GG WP. Uh, you try to do a different chat wheel, is what okay. happened. I see. It's one of those nice moments where uh, they should feel bad now because it sort of looks like shit talk. <laughs> I, I'm sure it's just a mistake. He probably just tried to do a different chat wheel. Yeah, Moon Meander would never talk shit. Doesn't sound like him at all. Well, the context was, didn't make full sense there. I'm sure he would have flamed in a more creative way if he yeah, was going to. Yeah, of course. To. He would have made a video about it. Is that the move? Okay. Yeah. That's the old Moon Meander. Maybe, maybe he's changed. Sammy Boy able to TP out, trying to extend a little. Oh, looks like Dubu will get picked off though. His first death. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. I wonder if he's smiling now. <laughs> Probably. I mean, they're, they're pretty far ahead. I don't think he's too worried about much here. And 19k net worth lead for TSM. They still have Aegis for another three minutes. As, oh, we're gonna see the Dragon Tail. Normal punch onto Mars instead of the CK. It gets off the BKB. Double BKB, in fact. Now we're gonna focus onto the Dark Seer. It's got another big kill for Wildcard. 80 seconds of no Saber Light. That's Sammy Boy getting chased. You can see Tomato has that double ult going right now. All they find is the support Death Prophet, though. So, not a good fight here for TSM at all. Yeah, not so good. Uh, he actually pressed refresh and didn't really use anything else, so all he got back basically was a BKB. Got oh, I didn't storm back, but all time. yeah, it wasn't really worth pressing anything else at that point. It kind of felt like a committal of the fight, but the other guy that he latched to as a weaver, he's going to just sprint away, so 
Yeah, a little bit of a tough one there. Saberlight kind of does die quickly. That was his uh, third death only. His base armor's quite high. It's 15. He's going for an Ags next. That'll give him HP for him and his allies. Uh, more Iron Shell charges, which will be nice, because then he can put it on Nyx and let Nyx go do stuff. But... Yeah, you tell him. So still on the map a bit. Uh, Dragonite swaps out his Maelstrom for his Hyperstone. Makes sense. That's what he needs attack speed more than small damage and AOE. So they're just trying to close up on a Furos. Aghanim Scepter now on Tomato. So his ult is going to absolutely shred. And once he gets, well, we'll see what he gets for the 25 talent. Oh, I forgot they changed this. Do, yep. That's right. So he already has the interval for the ult at 20. But yeah, once he gets that 25 talent, it's going to be really difficult to withstand. But Aegis, another minute 20, so he's not too scared. He's going to pop that ult. And you can see destroying these barracks at a very quick rate. Gets Reality Rifted, though. There's the BKB. Gets the Static Link off onto Eve. Just going to use it to secure this uh, mid racks. Oh, but gets speared back into the spirit, but doesn't connect onto the tower. In fact, will cost Mars his life instead. And we'll see if TSM focuses on the top racks next. They still have the Aegis again. Not too scared. The Searing Chain's gonna be applied to Bryle. He's gonna pop that BKB. Double buyback now from Wildcard Gaming. They're gonna apply all the pressure now to the Razor. They will find them, I would think. That is just Wall. the Aegis. Wall comes out, couple of illusions spawn as a result. And the tower's gonna go down. Divine Lama jumps in all by himself with that Mars Arena. Can't really get a spear out. Finally does. What the hell? That was a reality rich spear combo somehow. He went through the arena. <laughs> Interesting interaction. But it will result in a huge kill onto Razor. So Tomato is down for the count. And they'll find Moon Meander as well. He's almost died. Very low. 50 HP. Saberlight running for his life here. No spear for five, so he gets away pretty easily, and that is going to be his acceptor at least. So slightly more survivability, but they yeah, him getting pulled back kind of made things tough so for weird. Razor. How does does that work normally? Just reality I, rift, or because he, he was speared? He got like speared and reality rift at the same time. Then he got speared to okay, he got speared <laughs> first yeah. to the wall. Then the reality rift pulled him through. Is what happened? Huh. So in some ways a negative because he wasn't taking uh, punch damage from the Mars ulti, but ultimately. Definitely worth it. And this is the scary thing about CK is that the amount of physical damage you have is really overwhelming. Yep. So once he does commit to you, it's pretty straightforward for you to get picked off there. That's a lot of water. Drink up, young man. As you can see Orchid there. It's going to be a kill on Divide. Feels like Bryle is in dragon form 100% of the time. It does feel like that, yeah. Picks up a level 25 AUE Dragon Tail during Elder Dragon Force. Okay. So Very nice. That's a good one. 3.5 second disable when he blinks in. He's got the Mjolnir finish too, which is perfect for the hero. Attack speed is what you need. A little bit more AUE. Some damage reflection. So he pressures that in. That's going to force some reactions here. Trying to bait something. This is... And it synergizes with Razor because it's Lightning Purge. It's Lightning. That's Trial. Focusing on Sammy Boy. He's actually quite tanky. Despite dying so many times this game, of course, it is a position five. They will die in the end as Esk, attempting the BKB TP, will be successful. Not bad, that was a lot of damage. Did the tier three neutral, or tier four neutral start to drop? Yeah. Actually, they didn't even have all their tier threes yet. That's shocking. Since TSM are quite far ahead, you'd think they'd be in the jungle. They haven't, though. They've been they've been pushing side lanes a lot, and they've been ganking. Those are the two things. So, I don't know, jungling is definitely like a single target DPS thing in most cases. Similar to being good at Roshan, to be honest. So Will they fear sense. the smoke gank, or is it a fake out? <laughs> smoke get, ganking with three heroes, definitely a possibility They here. get the top racks, no problemo. Mono. You see the shard come to fruition here for the CK, so Illusion spawns on the Chaos Bolt. There's the fortification. Mars is up in 12 seconds, and this might be the last stand for wildcard in this game number one. This Brile again in dragon form. Never ending. And it's now or never for wildcard. Take out the wave, but can't quite take out the racks quite at this stage. I have to wait for the next wave. 
is under attack. Oh, Saber Light gets a nice back wall into the normal punch, but the BKBs are popped on mass for Wildcard, and they're actually going to be able to take out Saber Light extremely quickly. A nice turnaround here. Now, can they save Kamado? The question is the BKB optimal. Static Link as well. Stunts from Ryle comes out as well, and this is just way too much to withstand. They're going to have the buyback on everybody, it feels like. The question is, will TSM FTX drop out of this fight? S bat is a dieback. He died immediately. Ultra kill for Bryle. And he's just kiting to a high degree right now. Not quite getting the rampage, but Tomato takes care of that. And even if Moon Meander goes down here, it's still all going to be worth. He might even get out. Nope. So it cost them heavily. They are down basically 30k. But the Rax does survive technically. All right. Yeah, gold change positive for TSM FTX with all those cores by now. Now they just need to wait till they respawn. They can potentially control next Roshan and then get one pick off any of those buyback heroes and the game is more or less over. They tried to do this combo here. They actually messed it up. BKB for Esk, split from Eves. That means Saberlight dies again without getting basically anything done. He gets a CK illusion, but that was about it. Great double stun here by Brile. Catches the Ember Spirit. And this is the cause of his first death. Helped clean up Eves as well. This, I mean, it just looked over at this point in the game to me, but with all those buybacks, he made it work. As he jumps back and forth and back to get that Coddle kill at least. And then they just chased him with some AoE damage in the live game. It's oh, GG's over. Pop. They, they thought Bryle was just in permanent dragon form. Like, okay, yeah, no, that's, no. that's a bug, right? They got a kill on the CK <laughs> in the mid lane. Oh, so it's the And that was the dieback. <laughs>